everyone, welcome. Thank you so much for joining um, our presentation. So for the next 15 minutes, we're gonna be having Professor Malcolm Jones um, from the University of Queensland talking about the veterinary program there. So I will let you uh, take it away, Malcolm. Great, thank you, Sarah. And uh, thank you for the introduction and uh, hello. I think good evening to everybody who's listening in. It's a, a real pleasure to be able to talk with you today about um, the veterinary science or veterinary medicine program at the University of Queensland. So uh, let me just quickly talk about the University of Queensland. Um, it's a very highly ranking uh, university throughout the world. Um, we rank within the top 100 universities globally in um, uh, five different um, university rankings, as you can see there. And the university has a very long history dating back to the early 1900s uh, when it started off as a small provincial university, but has now gr grown into a global university. Uh, and uh, we currently enroll uh, 55,000 students at least across uh, three campuses and uh, many um, uh, teaching sites, uh, both within Queensland, Australia, and throughout the world. Uh, we have uh, very many uh, research intensive areas uh, and institutes, and uh, we graduate uh, uh, well over a quarter of a million graduates have done so already and uh, will continue to do so. So why would you consider uh, the University of Queensland for studying veterinary science or veterinary medicine? Well, the first thing is uh, that we rank very highly throughout the world in a provider as a provider of veterinary medicine training. Uh, we're within the top veterinary schools of Australia, as you can see, and also in one of the uh, prestigious universities in our country. Uh, we are the only university that provides an undergraduate veterinary medicine program that's fully accredited with the American Vet Medicine Association. And that's very important, as we'll see on the next section here, uh, we're accredited throughout the world as a provider of veterinary training, which means our graduates can begin to practice in many locations of the world without the requirement for additional training. So when you're trained at the University of Queensland, uh, you're essentially vet ready to hit the ground running, uh, so long as you meet the, the local requirements of your country, state or province in which you're in. So uh, we have uh, high quality teaching uh, and teachers. Uh, our teachers regularly win national teaching awards and are very committed to providing the highest possible uh, veterinary training uh, to our students. We have a relatively new uh, facilities. In 2010, the vet school moved from a location within the city of Brisbane to a new site on a rural farm. And the government and private partnerships invested substantial uh, sums of money into building a new fit for purpose veterinary school. So we're really well equipped with state of the art and very modern instrumentation and equipment for the best training. And in this regard, I think we're pretty much the envy of the world, or at least the English speaking world. Um, we have um, lots of uh, uh, facilities to provide uh, excellent clinical training. Um, including very enhanced diagnostic and treatment plans. Um, we, we train students well in problem solving and in decision making. Uh, we're very focused on providing students with direct access to animals and uh, we work hard to do so. So our students are trained in the arts of animal handling and, uh, and trained in, in developing clinical skills very early on in the program. And this is substantiated and sustained throughout uh, the training. Uh, we have uh, a number of uh, facilities on the campus to enable a student access to animals. Um, and this includes commercial animal facilities, including a dairy, uh, we have a, a piggery, we have poultry uh, farm as well. And uh, we also uh, maintain a, a beef stud. Uh, so, we also are very strongly linked with companion animal medicine. So um, we have um, a growing community around us um, 
who will bring their animals to our uh, inbuilt veterinary teaching hospital um, for treatments. In addition, we have staff who are very devoted towards uh, wildlife medicine. And uh, we have a very strong program in training in uh, diseases of wildlife. So why would you choose uh, UQ's veterinary science program? Well, although we do not provide a, a doctorate of veterinary medicine, the degree we provide is in all intents and purposes identical to a DVM, uh, remembering however, that we're an undergraduate degree program. Uh, so we provide a Bachelor of Veterinary Science with honours. Uh, the benefits of that is uh, you can complete your entire university training uh, within five years and not the six plus years that are required for a Doctor of Veterinary Medicine program. Which means if you are currently a school leaver and looking to begin university, uh, if you have the entry scores, you can move straight into our veterinary program or if you've done one year of university training and uh, you want to move into veterinary training uh, without having to complete a degree, then maybe the University of Queensland program is for you. So there's no need to complete uh, your current undergraduate deg degree program. Um, so long as you have the entry requirements, you can transfer across to our program. Uh, you don't need to have prior animal uh, uh, handling experience because uh, we'll train you in all you need to know. And we have very good trainers for that. So we have world-class knowledge and skills facilities. Um, we provide in our program all you need to know. So the foundational biomedical knowledge is provided. And then we build on that by uh, giving you uh, expertise in uh, areas related to uh, management and production, uh, uh, diseases of animals, diagnostics of disease organisms and, and diseases, therapeutics for animals. We provide our, all of our vet students with clinical skills and uh, including surgery, surgery, radiology, and we have a strong program in biosecurity and public health. We uh, emphasize uh, communication, professionalism and customer service. And this is embedded across the entirety of our program. And you can see in these photographs of people working with uh, a range of animals, many of which you'll encounter in North America and one or two you won't encounter in, in North America. And we pride ourselves on training students across all animals. We, we don't have um, streams that focus on equine or, or bovine medicine, for example. Um, we want our students to be adept in medicine across all of the species. And so that's a significant part of our program. So what you'd do if you did veterinary science at University of Queensland over the five years, we'd uh, start you off by giving you basic biomedical information, including um, studies of uh, biochemistry and cell biology. Uh, we have foundational zoology and biology, professional studies, and a range of other areas, uh, is particularly in, an, in anatomy, and emphasizing, as I said, animal handling. So in the first year and a half, uh, we introduce our students to what the normal animal would look like. And then we move across specifically into uh, animal diseases and uh, discomfort, I suppose. So we, we look at diseases specifically, disease causing organisms and, and, and infectious diseases. We look at pathobiology and um, uh, recognizing uh, animal responses to disease. Uh, we also start to look at, um, at clinical practices and how you can deal with diseased animals. And then in the final years of our training, we uh, focus in on uh, the medical training, uh, providing uh, uh, students with knowledge about how you can uh, treat animals that are affected by disease. So starting from looking at the normal animal, looking at what makes them sick, and then how we can fix them is the uh, pattern of our five year program. A, uh, a typical week that you might experience on the Gatton campus in Queensland is uh, every day starts at uh, eight or 9 a.m. Uh, depending on when we can squeeze in our first lectures. 
Uh, many students live on campus, so it's a five minute walk across from their accommodation uh, to the lecture halls. Um, many students will, will watch online these days and perhaps uh, miss a lecture or two and come later in the morning to attend their prax. But uh, uh, it's, it's up to the students to decide how they plan their day. Um, generally, we finish uh, around the, anywhere between 3 and 6 p.m. with breaks through the day for uh, lunch and other sorts of activities. Um, we do require uh, intensive uh, involvement in, in learning. And so after our study is required in semester. And also uh, we require our students to be involved in extramural studies. And that is to go on um, placements either on farms in animal enterprises or later on in the more clinical, fo clinically focused training uh, at veterinary surgeries uh, dotted around Queensland or around the world. And in fact, if you are a Canadian student and you want to do your extramural studies in Canada, uh, then that's okay with us. We'll, we'll work out something with you. So we want you to be, um, I guess, the driver of your own training and education as much as possible. Uh, we have elective um, activities, four weeks, and again, um, this elective is, is one key area where in the final year you can maybe return to your home country and uh, develop skills in uh, veterinary practice. So uh, to emphasize further the EMS placements or extramural studies placements, um, we have uh, two sorts of placement activities. Uh, so we have preclinical placements which need to be completed by the end of third year and started after our first year has uh, commenced. And essentially this involves a placement within um, the animal enterprises industry so that our veterinary students can see what it is to work with animals from the perspective of the owners of animals and not just from that of veterinary professionals. So we want uh, our students to be embedded um, within the community to learn directly from the owners about um, the animal areas that they're working with. In the final year, we move students into clinical placements, and this is called extramural studies or EMS for short. It occurs in our, in our final year, and in fact takes up the bulk of the training within that year. Uh, much of it is completed within our own veterinary teaching hospital, um, but some of it, as I've said before, can be taken offsite or offshore, and uh, it gives you an opportunity to um, uh, experience veterinary practice directly and under the guidance of veterinary practitioners. So why choose UQ Vet Science? Other reasons include that uh, there's tremendous support from the university from day one. Uh, we have veterinary leadership programs that begin within the first week to uh, build uh, teams and communities amongst our students. Uh, so that you're provided throughout your training with a very supportive learning environment. We have a buddy system where older students um, will welcome newer students in a, in a very friendly, hospitable way and mentor them uh, as they settle into university life. We have a very active uh, veterinary students association, uh, which looks after a lot of social activities, um, including the veterinary ball and uh, events that we call SMOCOs, and, um, and so forth. And uh, they are there for social interaction as well as to provide um, a specialist training and extramural activities as well. And uh, we have uh, many other um, groups as well. There's tremendous support for our international students. Uh, the UQ VET program has over 600 students that come from 28 countries, many from uh, North America. And we're very proud of that. 32% uh, of our cohort are international. And we have many activities, uh, as you can see there, uh, to support the uh, activities of the uh, students. So we have, um, the, the VET school is located on the Gatton campus. It's in a small uh, town that's around an hour's drive from Brisbane. It's a rapidly growing area and there's more and more things coming into, into the area. And if you want later on, you can look at this uh, virtual campus tour to show you a little bit of what the uh, uh, Catton campus looks like. Uh, 
Uh, the university campus has many facilities uh, for body, mind and soul, um, and uh, I've listed a lot of them there for you. Um, very student focused community. A lot of our people live directly on campus. There's beds for about 400 people. Many of our students live in the townships around the university. And so it's a, it's a place that's becoming, I guess, a regional university town. So the Bachelor of Veterinary Science uh, program uh, takes five years to complete. Uh, the uh, fees, the indicative fees for 2022 are 68,000 Australian dollars. Uh, to gain entry into the program, uh, you need to have uh, prerequisite studies in English, chemistry, mathematical methods, and physics or biology. Uh, you need to have an English uh, score of uh, seven or plus. And uh, we ask students to complete a situational judgment test that's uh, organized by a Canadian company. So there's no uh, college admission essay or reference uh, required. Um, and entry requirements then, I am going to have to stop. I'll just hover over this slide for the USA. Um, these are there for Canadian students. Uh, you need an entry score of 88 and uh, these prerequisites there. And I'll, I'll leave it to Grace and Margot to fill out the details with you later on if you have questions. And if you're coming from another country uh, into baccalaureate uh, uh, scores of 37 and GCE uh, scores of 12 with these prerequisites are required. Okay, so um, we cover a range of areas in uh, veterinary uh, medicine. I think I'm getting a call to, to close up. We have some absolutely happy graduates. If you're into social media, look up Leanne Mellon online. Uh, she's one of our graduates from last year. She loves being a vet. She loved training at UQ and she posts uh, in, incessantly on social media. So you might come across her there uh, on, on there. So we have um, other people who have developed strongly in clinical practice, including Hamish Barron. And so um, with that, uh, or oh, one last thing to say is, uh, we provide, um, uh, the university provides or it can source Destination Australian scholarships to assist you in your training. So speak to our people about that. And uh, finally, if you have any questions, then please uh, contact uh, university staff who are online now to chat with you and to answer questions. So Grace Lee and Margot Chandler, um, have a chat with them or uh, take a snapshot of the screen to, uh, to contact the university directly and you'll be put through to them and they can help you with any questions you have about the UQ veterinary program. Thank you very much for your attention. And uh, I, I hope that you will consider UQ as your destination for veterinary medicine training. Thank you. Thank you very much, Malcolm. I really appreciate that. Um, if you do have any questions, head back to Career Echo as well. Um, and yeah, thank you so very much. Have a great rest of your evening. Great, thank you.